I'd like to introduce you to Phil and Grace. They are responsible people. They read the paper and watch the news. Phil is a scoutmaster. Grace is president of the PTA. However, neither thinks their world is going to bust if they don't implement rapid population decline. They don't see their children dying from social violence or starvation. They don't see children being forced to kill to survive. They don't see a child's success making him or her into a killer. They don't see driving to McDonald's for a burger as a killing behavior. They don't see starving people fighting to eat. And they don't see this fighting powerful enough to collapse civilization. If these are true statements, Phil and Grace are blind to them. They see no bust bad enough to require a rapid population decline. In these videos, I'll try to repair some of that blindness. Let me begin by describing the meaning of too much scarcity. That's when not enough food is grown. Not enough food gets to market. What gets there is bought by the rich. The poor can't afford even a small part. They don't eat. They get desperate and they fight to eat. The owners and the rich defend themselves. The attacking and defending diverts resources, increasing scarcity, which increases conflict, which increases scarcity again. The chain of events forms a feedback loop. With constant scarcity and conflict, the loop does nothing. When civilizations are prospering, the loop runs backwards. A decrease in scarcity decreases existing conflict, which decreases scarcity some more. However, a single failed harvest increases scarcity and triggers the spiral. Even a good harvest the next year does not stop it. Expanding conflict still expands scarcity, which still expands conflict. No wonder this feedback loop is called civilization death spiral. This death spiral was embedded in the Mayan, the Mongol, the Inca, and Roman civilizations, and they're all gone. Civilization death spirals are still with us today. Somalia contained one and it collapsed. Bad as that was, I'm not worried about a single nation collapse. Instead, I'm worried about global civilization collapse. Because... Markets tie everything together. When the rich purchase their needs, they unintentionally leave nothing for the poor to buy. Because of global markets, a harvest failure in Russia results in starving people in Egypt. Food riots in the ghetto spill into the suburbs. Revolutions spill over borders. In every slum in the world, People are very close to being pushed off the plate of global support. Soon, they will be fighting to eat. The conflict will trip a global civilization death spiral. Most nations will collapse. Billions will die. Unfortunately for their children, Phil and Grace just don't see it. <laughs>